Right, is this on? I think it's on. Okay, um, I've seen loads of videos on YouTube um, of people showing their YouTube viewers their um, lizard tanks. So I'm going to do a video showing Rex's tank. That's Rex, obviously. Um, he's a Chinese water dragon and about... He's not old, um, I'd say six months, um, and he's already reaching um, about a foot and a half long. So he's got quite big, and he should be getting bigger, hopefully. I heard they can grow to up about six feet, that's including the tail, obviously. Um, so yeah, his tank. Um, this is just, um, I think he, what's it called? Um, just... Um, that dry wood stuff that you see floating in the ocean, whatever it is, um, and this soil, um, plantinum soil, I don't know what that means, I'm reading it off the Exoterra website now, um, but when I got it, it was um, solid as a brick and you have to melt it down. Um, we have his water bowl there, I've been meaning to clean it out because as you can tell it's got a bit dirty. Um, just have a um, background there for him. Bless him though, he keeps thinking it's real and keeps running into it. Um, oh, and down here, um, normally, well I've just filled it up now before I started filming, but normally Rex likes to dig at it like that, so it's all like that. Which as you can tell by his snout. Rex, let me see your snout. I know. Uh, can you see it's all bruised at the top? People try to find a way to stop it, but water dragons just naturally like digging. So, keeps him happy, let him do it, and if he gets infected, well, you find a way to fix it, don't you? Um, most of the here is Exoterra. This tank is Exoterra, as shown there by the Exoterra logo. It's a bit fuzzy so we don't know if you can see it. Um, we have Exoterra light up here which um, is obvious because I'm still using the box that I got it in. Um, one of his lights has blown from it but um, I'm gonna try and get that fixed soon. Um, this light I'm not gonna keep the camera on it for long um, That'll do. This light um, is new because his last one, um, a solar glow bulb, recently blew. Um, and I was meaning to get another, you know, natural light one. But um, this one works just as fine. People say you shouldn't really use light bulbs like that on lizards. But it has no difference on them whatsoever. It's just basically a myth. And... Um, these are a lot cheaper to use than the Exoterra ones. I'm going to move that off now because my hand's starting to get hurt. Get hurt, I mean hurting. And, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, um, I use them lights because uh, Mike suggested it. And Mike is a great man, he is. And he's a breeder of lizards and all sorts. And he really is brilliant. Last time I went to his house, he had all sorts running around his house. He had dinosaur, a bleeding great monitor lizard running around his house. He thinks it's a dog dinosaur. He's amazing. And, um, sorry, I'm making you jealous. And, um, yeah, it's quite good, Mike. If you're ever in Attersley or wherever the hell this place is that I live, um, you should look him up. He has a blue door. I don't really know how else to describe him. Um, now back on to Rex. Um... Rex is um, always recently had conjunctivitis in not this eye but the other one, which I can't really show you. I'll try, but it'll probably move his head again. Come on, Rex, show me your other eye. No, he don't want to play. Now, um, he did recently have conjunctivitis in his other eye, which um, is okay now because. Um, well, it's gone, obviously, or I wouldn't be making this video. Um, 
probably wondering why I'm making this video. Well, partly because I wanted to do what the other people on YouTube were doing, and partly because Rex has recently reached the age of maturity. So, um, I will be moving him into a new tank soon with a female Lady Rex, which hopefully I can make another video of then. But um, until then, um, <laughs> um, his locusts are there. See, look there. Where are they? There, there they are. So, um, he's constantly ramming the glass trying to get to them, aren't you? So, um, that's it. And, um, I'll see you later.